A hilarious new trend on TikTok has led people to throw white lie parties. Confused? Don't worry, we're about to break it down, plus react to so much more. Hey guys, welcome back to another Share News From Home. We have so many amazing TikToks to share with you all, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host Fiona Zaring, and I am joined by the wonderful Tyler Joseph Ellis, who is obsessed with TikTok. Correct, Tyler? <laughs> Admittedly, I am truly, it is getting me through quarantine single-handedly. I am truly into it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, me too. We're gonna dive into some of the wild trends that are taking over the app right now, you guys. First up, let's just start with these <laughs> white lie parties because I find these to be so hilarious. This is a newer trend on the app. It's basically like the latest thing in theme parties. People are wearing white t-shirts and then they write on them with a Sharpie or something. And it's a little white lie that they are guilty of telling. So basically you confess something you're guilty of and confessions seem to range anywhere from like basic white lies that everyone tells to some people are really going out there with some dramatic <laughs> confessions. I think it really just depends on the type of person you are. Um, there is of course, you guys, a pandemic. So throwing parties is not strongly encouraged, but based on what I can see, it sort of looks like people's little quarantine teams, quarantine bubbles, whatever you want to call it, are throwing these parties within themselves to spice things up. Um, let's check out some examples because these are so wild. <laughs> What does that say? <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> I know. I'm a good cook. I'm that a good one cook. Is <laughs> I also loved the um, this time I'm done with him or whatever that said. Oh, I know so many people who are guilty of that white lie. <laughs> what? <laughs> I deleted Tinder for you. Classic. Oh I love my it. god! I think we have one more video. Let's see Let's what they it. put together too. Okay, there's that one again. Yep. What's UV blue? <laughs> I get. I also don't know what UV blue is. I was clearly in the wrong crowds in college. I, is that a drink? Oh my. With UV Go sparkling vodka based cocktails, life just got a lot more colorful. God, I. Guess I guess. I thought I was hip with White Claw. Jeez, I guess we're behind. <laughs> I know. High noon. I know White Claw. Like, in here yes. I am. I have no idea what UV blue is. Next time. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to look into that. That's homework for us. Oh, my God. Yeah, right? Okay. The one that I loved from that was I can make a decision because that is something that I think I am quite literally the worst at. I will look at oh, both yeah. of my options, weigh both options, and then whoever I'm with, I'll just be like, okay, what do you think? <laughs> make a decision. Like I refuse to make a decision. Well, I love the I don't like tequila. That's a classic, yeah. classic line. It's like, no, 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 I don't like tequila. And then as soon as it's there, I'm like, it's my favorite. <laughs> so I love the I love this I love this idea. I do too. What if you were throwing or going to a safe, of course, white lie party? Yeah. What would you put on your shirt? Oh God. Um let me think. Probably something like I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's my good. classic. I I lied about That's a great everywhere. one. Every, what about you? What about you? What would you do? Um, okay, see, that's so good. Now I'm like, shoot, that would probably be <laughs> mine. That, or maybe like, um, I'm trying to think like, what's like a white lie that I've been telling in quarantine? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I know I haven't watched that episode yet. That's one. That's one that I'm guilty of. And I feel like that's very me specific, but let me explain. Sometimes no, I really not. want people to watch TV shows with me. So I'm yep. like, no, I haven't watched it. Let's watch it together. And it's a lie because I've totally watched it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, uh, we're moving on. I mean, I 
the white lies trend is something that I'm definitely going to take up. This next one, we'll see if I can take up. But this is popping <laughs> up on TikTok, I think on both of our For You pages, and it's cloud bread. Yes, you heard that correctly. In the early days of quarantine, I remember everyone was obsessed with whipped coffee and banana bread. Those are the two things that I'm like, yes, those are the food items that people are obsessed with. But we have a new one. We have cloud bread now, which is basically a fluffy, really aesthetically pleasing loaf of bread. That's it. It's also <laughs> like, it's typically made with like very few ingredients. So I think with the videos we've gleaned that it's like egg whites, sugar, and cornstarch. Uh, it's not very dissimilar to like meringue, if you're familiar, you like with okay. the egg whites and the stiff peaks, like or a souffle, if you will, um, w uh, which is like <laughs> the most basic, just egg whites, sugar. Uh, the good thing about cloud bread is that it's, <laughs> It doesn't taste very good, <laughs> apparently, which is silly to me. I'm like, why are you making it if it doesn't taste good? Some people have been adding like vanilla, strawberry extract, sprinkles, <laughs> other like different things to make it not taste bad um, because some have described it as tasting like rotten eggs. So um, I'm telling you, TikTok oh is God. the weirdest app. <laughs> it's the weirdest app. Let's check out some popular cloud bread videos. Let's roll clip. Let's do it. Tie-dye cloud bread. Three egg whites. Now beat them up until they're nice and frothy. Add two and a half teaspoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons oh plus one teaspoon of sugar. You have to mix it oh, okay. until you get kind of stiff peaks. Okay. Separate it out into six different bowls. Then we're gonna use food coloring and make them all different colors. And then blend them again until you get stiff wow. peaks. I nope. unintentionally did Pascal green. Oh, get your pan. Line <laughs> it with parchment paper. <laughs> Okay, Ooh! yum. Now bake it 300 oh, for wow. five minutes. Oh my gosh, I cannot <gasps> believe this. <gasps> what? Look at this. Wow. Eyes. Oh my gosh, this is okay. so Okay. I don't know if I want to taste it. Oh, where should we look? <laughs> I don't know if I should be eating this. Uh, it's not bad. It kind of tastes like a uh, like a sugar egg. Is that the thing? Interesting. No. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, but it sure does look cool. Okay. So okay. the taste is like pleasing. universally, <laughs> it's just not a thing you eat. It was so sticky. It was beautiful. It was so oh, sticky. Stunning. Well, I think we have one more. Let's like roll okay, that one, see. I guess. Cloud bread part let's two. See. I made cloud bread and everyone said I made the wrong cloud bread. So now we're making more oh, no. cloud bread. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. We need three egg whites. I don't know why my mic only works half the time, but beat your egg whites till you have stiff peaks. Add a quarter cup of sugar and then a cup of cornstarch. Then add some color and gently fold it in. Then you're going to bake it at 350 for about 25 minutes. Okay. I have redeemed myself through call of the trend. It oh. It's really eggy and I still don't like eggs. It smells more eggy now that I've cut it. But it is soft oh. and pretty and fluffy. I don't like it, but I don't like eggs. I like the other one better, honestly. But if you like eggs, you should try it. Do the thing. Uh. <laughs> so basically it's just like egg bread that nobody likes to eat but doesn't take that long to make so it's a huge trend because it's pretty that's like what i'm getting uh, I, I think you've i think you've you've cracked the code here i i don't like the taste of eggs either i haven't like eaten eggs in three years i've been uh, i don't know if you know this about me fiona wow. uh, but i have been vegan no. for three years <laughs> oh la has changed me wow. so i'm like i look at it and it looks gorgeous but i'm like i i think if it were sort to of smell and taste like eggs i'd be like no but hey quarantine i'll do anything at this point <laughs> so well, the thing is i failed the whipped coffee trend i could not get it to look that fluffy beautiful texture that everyone else could so maybe cloud bread is more suited for my skill set i don't know how maybe. you don't eat eggs oh i like eggs i would not want an egg tasting bread that would be weird but i i, I could agree. not give up eggs very impressed with your vegan journey tyler i could not do that thank you could thank you it. thank you so much <laughs> Um, moving on from stinky, fluffy, pretty bread, let's talk about one of the newer dance trends because I live for the dance trends, you guys. Yes, and this yes. one is so fun. I know you see this one, Tyler. This is oh, yeah. that like hip thrusting dance move to Taylor Swift's Love Story remix. This has been on everyone's feed nonstop, but there's actually a really interesting story behind the song itself. So a creator named Disco Lines on TikTok made this remix of Love Story. The song has been used in over 1.5 million videos. Not 1.5 million views, 1.5 million individual videos at least of this song are on TikTok right now. And what's interesting is this is a remix that just blew up, 
but it actually was created in one of Disco Line's YouTube videos back in 2019. So he's had this out and about for a while now. The Love Story Challenge, or also there's like a couple of other versions of the challenge, like that people are calling it. But that's mm. what blew it up on TikTok. And someone named Ethan first used the song for this video. So check out the original video, you guys. In my head. Yes. So that and is that, like, I, I, oh was my God. I was shocked when I saw it because it doesn't have, and we'll show you some more clips in a second, but the like yeah. pull back camera moves. So what I want to know yeah. is who did this? You know what I'm talking yeah, I'm like, about? Who did that Here, first? I think the next clip has that like move to it. Let's see. <laughs> They're so insane. Yes. <laughs> so they eat them up. Like I've, seen, I've seen hundreds of these now. Like, and I eat it okay. up every time. Same. I don't know about you, but like, I will be scrolling through my feed and I'll walk to one and I'll be like, oh, cute. They did like a proposal. And then two videos later, there's another one. And I'm like, what are they going to do? And <laughs> People just walk, I love it. and I'm like, yes, I'm here for it. Yes, walk, walk, and press. Oh, oh, yes. Jason Derulo. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Okay, Tyler, I have to know your thoughts because I'm so glad we yeah. had that Jason Derulo one. I think Jason Derulo is like the celebrity representative of TikTok. He makes I think the I would funniest, agree with that, yes. most on-trend content, right? Yeah, absolutely. I love Jason Derulo. <laughs> I think he's hilarious. And it's not so, it's not very often that you see um, like an artist that's so, I mean, has so many hits, so many, I mean, like he's sort of like untouchable in such a different medium. That's sort of why I've fallen in love with TikTok is that unlike Instagram, unlike Twitter, unlike any other social media platform before, I really feel like you can sort of get to know someone a little bit better as a person. Like he makes all those videos of him making the like candy yes. stuff, like really like unhealthy meals. And I'm like, I'm here for it. Okay, we know you have a sweet tooth. You're kind of goofy. I love that. <laughs> so I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Oh my God, I totally agree. Whenever he makes like a crazy like cotton candy sandwich concoction, yeah. I'm like, what the heck? Because that does take a very specific set of skills. And who would have thought Jason Derulo <laughs> had them? The dancing ones, obviously I enjoy because he's so talented. But there is, if you guys yeah. haven't checked out Jason Derulo's TikTok, there is a whole world on there. There is so much <laughs> to see. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, yes. that is... All we have to share with you today, unfortunately. Do you want more TikTok? Take out your phone, scroll for the next three hours, because I'm sure that's what Tyler and I are going to do. We want to know, of course, what you guys think of these trends or if there are any other trending videos on TikTok right now that you're obsessed with. So let us know what you're watching down in the comments. And before you go, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell because we'll be back here with more TikTok for you all very soon. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on socials at Fiona Zaring. And Tyler, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Tyler Joe, spelled J-O-E, 33, and on TikTok at Tyler Joseph Ellis. I love it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.